particularly where some of the rivers and other tributaries enter into it. You get waves coming from all sides in some places, so that can also be dangerous. Unlike ocean-exposed sailing havens, the largely enclosed geography of this bay causes local winds to be very unpredictable. The result is challenging, exciting, and dangerous. The Chesapeake Bay is, to me, is one of the more challenging bodies of water in the United States to forecast for. Jay Titlow is the founder and chief meteorologist for Sailflow.com, an online weather service geared towards the needs of sailors. The bay has many different tributaries that kind of branch off in different directions. And so the, the winds basically behave different as they come down the rivers or go up the particular rivers that feed into the bay. With over 50 major rivers and countless tributaries feeding the bay, a storm's winds can shift and be channeled down rivers in chaotic ways, bursting onto the bay from multiple directions. The other really unique thing about the Chesapeake Bay is its proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. And so what happens is you'll get what I'll call hybrid breezes that are basically a bay breeze and then an ocean sea breeze will cross the Delmarva Peninsula and couple and the two together will, will bring some surprisingly strong wind. As in most outdoor sports environments, there is a perfect season here when the sailing conditions are at their peak. It's the time these sailors eagerly anticipate when a succession of storm systems bombard the area. But during the summer months, winds here can actually be tame, as a high-pressure system called the Bermuda High steers storm systems away from much of the region. That Bermuda High over the East Coast tends to expand in the summertime, and what that does is it basically puts the East in a funk. You know, heat, haze, humidity, lack of wind, um, generally a case of the grumpies for a sailor. But in the fall, sailing becomes prime as the Bermuda High gives way and storms are free to roll across the bay. Wind, water, and waves become supercharged, and so too does the entire sailing community. In the fall, the water is as warm as it will get. And so what that does is it creates an unstable environment over the water. So when you get a cool air intrusion and a high pressure over New England that funnels strong winds down the coast, there's a real strong momentum transfer. And so what happens is it's almost like an electrification of the winds. With wind speeds blowing up to 50 knots, this change of season also electrifies the legions of competitive sailors whose sails capture the explosive winds for a maximum rush. Annapolis is one of the best places in the